hundreds of mysterious strands found at the heart of the Milky Way. The center of our Milky Way galaxy is home to a multitude of intriguing figures, including nearly a thousand mysterious magnetic strands, according to a new telescope image. The pairs and clusters of strands stretch for nearly 150 light years in length and are equally spaced. The bizarre structures are a few million years old and vary in appearance. Some of them resemble harp strings, waterfalls, or even the rings around Saturn. But the true nature of the filaments remains elusive, according to mainstream science. Farad Youssef Zahed, a professor of physics and astronomy at Northwestern University, first discovered the strands 35 years ago via radio waves. He determined that the strands were made of cosmic rays, electrons, that were moving their magnetic fields at near the speed of light. The origin of these strands, however, has remained a mystery. Now, astronomers were able to find 10 times more than Yusef Zaret's previous discovery using the South African Radio Astronomy Observatory Meerkat Telescope. A study detailing these findings has been accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, one of the leading journals in the field. And according to Yusef, we have studied individual filaments for a long time with a myopic view. Now, we finally see the big picture. A panoramic view filled with an abundance of filaments. Just examining a few filaments makes it difficult to draw any real conclusions about what they are and where they come from. This is a watershed in furthering our understanding of these structures. The new detailed image is actually composed of a mosaic of 20 different observations taken over three years while looking towards the Milky Way's distant center, located 25,000 light years from Earth. In addition to the long strands the image you're looking at shows the signatures of star birth, the remnants of exploded stars through radio emissions and their supernova ejections. Yusuf Zared and his research team focused solely on the strands and isolated them from the other phenomenon captured in this image. It's like modern art, he said, and I quote, these images are so beautiful and rich, and the mystery of it all makes it even more interesting, unquote. Well, apparently, this quote-unquote scientist has a lot of learning to do, especially about the work of Alfane, Birkeland, the Thunderbolts Project, and many involved in the electric universe, and the plasma universe hypothesis. But I digress. What we're looking at here is a, an image using magnetic intensity, and they still won't admit electricity. Now, the amount of radiation varied from other energetic cosmic events in the picture, like supernova remnants. You can see here they're quite dim, like this bubble and this bubble. This one's a little lit up, though, so they're not completely unique compared to the filament-like strings. So the amount of radiation varied from other energetic cosmic events in the study, like supernova remnants. The team's analysis of the strands showed the scientists think the strands are more likely related to past activity caused by supermassive black holes at the center of the Milky Way, rather than explosions of stars. Now, the center is right around here, where Sagittarius A is. And how you get 
filamentary structures that move through the region, extending off hundreds of light years into space, that has something to do with the center baffles my mind. And the fact that they can't see this is almost embarrassing. Now, the team determined the magnetic fields are stronger along the strands. Well, hello. Those are our cosmic, let's say, extension cords. And they are traveling elsewhere in the universe to other galaxies, especially if this is the galactic plane. They're perpendicular to the plane. And these have been long described as Birkeland currents. And why the new study doesn't bring them up in any way, well, should leave you pause to the fact that there is no science being done in science. There is funding involved, but it's certainly not to find the truth. It's to get the money to write the fairy tale. Now, a Birkeland current usually refers to the electric currents in a planetary's ionosphere. It follows magnetic field lines, aligned currents, and sometimes used to describe any field-aligned electric current, especially in a space plasma. They are caused by the movement of a plasma perpendicular to the magnetic field. Now, the magnetic field of our Galaxy is the galactic plane, and perpendicular to that are the filaments in this picture. Now, originally, Birkeland currents referred to electric currents that contribute to the aurora caused by the interaction of the plasma in the solar wind with Earth's magnetosphere. But based on current studies and plasma scaling, you can scale this up to the entire universe scale and all the way down to the electron microscope scale. The current flows earthwards down the morning side of Earth's ionosphere around the polar regions and spacewards up in the evening side of the ionosphere. These currents are now sometimes called auroral electrojets. The currents were predicted as early as 1903 by the Norwegian explorer and physicist Christian Birkeland, who undertook expeditions into the Arctic to study the aurora. Now, Professor Emeritus of the Alfin Laboratory in Sweden, Carl Gunn wrote in 1986, a reason why Birkeland currents are particularly interesting is that the plasma force to carry them, they cause a number of plasma physical processes to occur. Waves, inabilities, fine structure formation. These in turn lead to consequences, such as acceleration of charged particles, both positive and negative, and element separation, such as preferential ejection of oxygen ions. Both of these classes of phenomenon should have general astrophysical interest far beyond that of understanding the space environment of our own Earth. <laughs> well, hello! Birkeland currents are observed in the entire universe, and mainstream science has yet to pick up on it. Yet they took one of the most amazing pictures of dozens of these Birkeland currents, and they're baffled. Yes, they disregarded all the previous science over the last 100 years and called, called these structures magnetic strands. Perhaps they're stupid. Perhaps they're ignorant. Perhaps no one introduced them to the past observational science and scientific theories that exist. But I think it's something more nefarious. It's the dumbing down of humanity, the stupefying of the stupid. 80% of humans are intellectually inept. And I apologize if you're one of them. Because you haven't understood a thing I've said for the last nine minutes and 34 seconds. But the pictures are certainly pretty. And that's a boom. To knowledge, not to science. What is happening now is pretty pictures and bullshit narratives. And I'm sick of it. And I'm sure you are too. And tonight, we put it all into context for you. And that's a boom. Thanks to all our one-time donors, our Patreons. 
who are patriots that share this information. We love you. Be safe. We'll be back soon with another book. Ding, ding, ding.